December 17th, 1776. We were, as it were, shipwrecked people. We had declared our independence on July the 4th, 1776. But now, North Carolina was ready to adopt its written constitution. But before we did that, we first adopted our Declaration of Rights. What, what, what are these Declaration of Rights? Well, as Jefferson famously said in the Declaration of Independence, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all are created equal and endowed by our Creator with certain inalienable rights, life, liberty, pursuit of happiness, property rights. And that government is instituted among people to protect these fundamental rights and freedoms. So as we thought about adopting our Constitution, we decided that we would first adopt our Declaration of Rights, which is like a Bill of Rights, except at the end, it's at the very beginning, illustrating that God gives we the people fundamental rights, and government is there to protect these fundamental rights. As we say in our book on the state constitution, the General Assembly decided that they would adopt the Declaration of Rights on December the 17th. Now they already had the rest of the state constitution ready for adoption, but they didn't do it on December the 17th. They went home after they had adopted the Declaration of Rights. They came back the next day to adopt the constitution, the form of government, illustrating that our rights are superior to the government and the government is there to just protect those fundamental rights and freedoms. December 17, 1776, our Declaration of Rights. December 18, 1776, our state constitution. Aren't we grateful for the foresight of our forefathers who protected these fundamental freedoms that we have in the structure of our government through our written constitutions.